Mad Scientist versus Old School. That's that's pretty good headline there. Reed Shanahan. Andy Reed is 25 and 16 in the playoffs. You know how hard it is to win in postseason football? There's nobody that's 25 and 16 except Andy Reed. His career record is 283 and 160. This is greatness. And how good is he? He had 140 wins in Philadelphia, 143 wins now with the Kansas City Chiefs. He has just reinvented himself. Wow. And the other facet about greatness in a coach is not only just the accomplishments on the field, John, it's his coaching tree. You know, we had stretches of time. We had guys that came off Tom Landry's tree, and then we had guys that came off the Holmgren tree. This guy's got assistant coaches everywhere in the NFL now who are head coaches or red hot coordinators. So that's the sign of something really special. You know, and it's interesting because we've been talking about Belichick extensively. And Belichick's tree has a lot of dead leaves on it. Mm. None of his assistant coaches have turned into anything. And yet where Andy Reid has directed guys, they've gone and had success. Mike Shanahan's son, Kyle. Now, Kyle was with Mike all along his coaching career, starting as a ball boy, becoming an administrative assistant, quality control, assistant coach, et cetera. Kyle Shanahan is eight and three in postseason. Again, it's so hard to win in the playoffs. He's 72 and 54 overall. Hell, he might be a better coach than his father was a coach. And Mike Shanahan did a pretty good job, probably going to wind up in the Hall of Fame. Kyle Shanahan has had to work his way back from postseason disappointments. San Francisco, first time around. Before that, the debacle in Atlanta. You do remember the 28-3 lead that evaporated? Yeah. So he's... He's gone through some tough learning curves in the postseason, but we got old school versus the mad scientist that is Andy Reid. And I think the most amazing thing to me for all the years that Andy Reid's been in this, he has been able to transition from all types of different styles of offense to modern day offense. I mean, it's, it's fabulous to me. Thoughts on the coaches? Yeah, well, we, we've always uh, um, applauded Andy Reid's genius. In fact, I can tell that you have a certain fandom of him i mean because of what he's done and kind of his innovation right yeah exactly just um, to sit there and and see the creative juice that he brings to postseason play or to see what his record is coming off a of bye week or to see what his record is the week after they lose a game i mean the, the statistics are mind-boggling uh, just what he accomplishes and how he responds to what he has just experienced. He's so different. Shanahan, a lot of old school um, sledgehammer football. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to run the damn ball and we're going to play great <laughs> defense. And yeah, man, we'll attack it down the field. But you know what you're getting when you're playing the 49ers. You're going to get punched in the mouth. Oh, yeah. So and it's, it's, it's the substance of Shanahan versus the sizzle of what Andy Reid's got to offer. Yeah, I think it's exciting. I mean, it's interesting too, like the legacy of the Shanahan family. But I just go always think about Andy Reid when he was a little kid. He was in that NFL punt pass and kick yeah. contest, and he looked like this big ogre, you know, amongst all these little kids. He's an you, offensive guard. Yeah, <laughs> but you could tell that he, you know, and the football has been everything to him since he was a little kid. And I don't know what he was like as a player. I don't know if he played competitively in college or, or in the NFL. I don't think he did. Did he? He came off the Lavelle Edwards tree. That's where some of his creative instinct comes from. Huh. He was at BYU as a rotation backup offensive lineman, but he sucked in all this information about offenses and quarterbacks. And this is when Lavelle Edwards was there with the McMahons and the Steve Youngs really? and the Robbie Boscos. Yeah, I had no idea. Yes. Oh, cool. So, yeah, it's just interesting to see his life because a lot of times coaches, they're players and they go coach. This guy has been the mind of football for yeah. decades. Yeah, well said. He's earned it. He mm -hmm. has really earned it. Special, special guy. But there are a lot of good guys on those coaching staffs. Next question.